Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation titled Stability Improvement of Series Stack Buffer Circuit in Single Phase Solar Inverter. This is the presentation outline. This is the circuit under study. We are representing PV array in terms of its Thevenin equivalent ideal voltage source Vs in series with small signal equivalent series resistance Rs. Then we have filter capacitor CBUS for high frequency filtering. Then we have our series stacked buffer or SSB circuit connected between two terminals A and B. We have a series blocking capacitor C1. Then we have a low voltage rated full bridge converter. We have capacitor C2 which is the DC link of full bridge converter and LPF and C3 which is the filter of the full bridge converter. Then we have our single phase inverter connected to utility grid through filter inductor LG. The ideal current drawn by the ideal inverter given is given by I inverter of T is equal to Is minus Is cos to omega T. We must limit the second harmonic current entering the PV array. Hence we are adding this impedance network which is nothing but our SSB circuit. The SSB circuit emulates a series RLC circuit tuned at second harmonic frequency. So the series blocking capacitor C1 becomes the C of the RLC circuit. The L and R part are emulated by the full bridge converter. The full bridge converter must emulate the series resistance RE to account for the power losses due to switching and conduction of the power semiconductor devices. Hence the value of RE is an indication of power loss in the full bridge converter of the SSB circuit. So this is the control Im implementation of SSB circuit. We know that the full bridge converter must emulate series RL. Hence we have inductance emulation loop and a resistance emulation loop. Let us find out equivalent circuit at second harmonic frequency. So the equivalent of the DC source at second harmonic frequency is the source resistance RS. The equivalent of SSB circuit at second harmonic frequency is the emulated resistance RE. The equivalent of the grid feeding inverter is the second harmonic current source I inverter. Further analysis tells us that the current through the SSB circuit second harmonic current is given by I buff is equal to RS upon RS plus RE into I inverter AC by current division rule. Also the power absorbed by the SSB circuit from external network is given by this formula. By substituting the expression for I buff here we get this formula. So we can plot the P buff versus RE using this particular formula and we get this bell shaped curve. We know that when RE is equal to RS, the power absorbed by the SSB circuit from external source is maximum and it reduces on the both the sides. We are dividing this region in region 1 where RE is less than RS and region 2 where RE is greater than RS. So let us understand how instability in the SSB circuit occurs. The resistance simulation loop is designed for positive slope of the power curve. Hence the circuit is only stable for RE less than RS. So let us understand this conceptually. So let us assume the circuit is operating in region 1 and this is the resistance simulation loop. There is a small positive value of error E. If the error is positive, hence the output of PI controller increases, hence the value of emulated resistance increases. In region 1, increase in value of emulated resistance increases the power absorbed, hence the value of VC2 increases, hence the error reduces. So we see that the resistance simulation loop is stable in region 1. However, let us see what happens in region 2. In region 2, let us again analyze with a small positive error E. Then the output of PI controller increases, hence the value of emulated resistance increases. However, as the value of emulated resistance increases, the absorbed power reduces. As the absorbed power reduces, the average value of VC2 reduces. Hence the value of error again increases. Hence the 
value of emulated resistance again increases which means the resistance emulation loop is behaving like a positive feedback loop and the value of emulated resistance is going on continuously increasing hence the region 2 is unstable region of operation so the system may operate in region 2 when the value of rs is low the value of rs is dependent on the operating point on the iv curve of the pvra which is not in our hand so second reason is high value of re we know that re is an indication of power loss in the full bridge converter or a combination of both of these phenomena so in out of these two phenomena rs and re re is uh, controllable so we can reduce the value of re by reducing the power loss in the full bridge converter and always ensure operation in region 1 so this is the proposed controller which ensures operation in region 1 we have re inductance simulation loop and resistance simulation loop which work exactly like a traditional control this is the additional proposed controller for stability we know that the ratio of rs and re should be greater than 1 here we are setting the reference for ratio of R rs and re at empirically selected value 1.5 then we are com after comparison with reference we are passing only positive values of error signal then the error is processed by a pd controller which ensures fast action for rapidly changing irradiance conditions the output of pd controller is subtracted from one this subtraction ensures that when no control action is taken the value of k is set to one and the circuit operates exactly like conventional controller when the value of k is less than 1, we are reducing the value of vc2 reference and vc3 reference. Hence, we are reducing the power processed by the full bridge converter and thereby power loss in it. Reduction in power loss in the full bridge converter is expected to reduce the value of re and hence ensure the stability of the system. So, for simulation, we have considered this case. So dotted curve here is the IV characteristic of the PV array under full elimination condition. The dark blue curve is the IV characteristics of the same PV array under partial shading condition. So we are studying the operation of the circuit when operating point changes from E to F. So with the conventional approach we see that when re becomes slightly greater than rs the value of re is continuously increasing signifying the unstable operation of the control loop also the vc2 value actual is not able to track the vc2 reference okay then we have our proposed approach here we see that under same working conditions the value of rs is always maintained greater than re also, when the RE is trying to become greater than RS, the value of K is reducing. Hence, it is forcing the ratio of RS upon RE at the set reference 1.5. Under all time, we see that VC2 reference is equal to VC2 actual, which reiterates the stable operation of the control loop. Concluding, this paper has identified an instability problem associated with series stacked buffer circuit. This problem arises when subjected to low values of equivalent source resistance. The control technique is proposed to enhance the stable range of operation of the circuit and stabilization of the system is achieving, achieved by reducing the power loss in the full bridge converter. The proposed technique is validated by the circuit simulation results. For additional details, please refer to the paper. Thank you for your time.